Alrighty, so we have a Yukon Striker construction update for you guys today. Um, and it's super exciting. Not much has happened, but it's what is about to happen that is super exciting. As you can see in the storage lot, nothing new going on here. Just thought I'd show you guys because you're probably curious. Um, I'm pretty sure, I think we're maybe missing a couple of supports and a couple of track pieces, but adding up math wise, um, it looks like most of the pieces are here. There's not much left of the coaster to install. Um, in fact, as you can tell, uh, the zero G roll is done and it looks phenomenal. I mean, look at how much or how far this thing spreads from the Immelman all the way over to the zero G roll. Everything is super awesome and you can tell it's going to have a lot of speed. I'm so excited for it. Um, but um, as you can see, uh, the zero G roll is done. It is all the way down to the ground. They got the track piece down there that's going to start curving up towards the vertical loop or into the vertical loop. Sorry, because the vertical loop is right away. Uh, we're not talking about a little segment before the vertical loop. The vertical loop is next and I'm predicting it could very well maybe be done by the end of this week. That'll be sick. I can't wait um, to see that vertical loop up and uh, three inversions uh, before the fourth inversion before the mid course. That's a lot of inversions before you hit that mid course break run um, into that little finale of the ride that pays homage to Skyrider. Anyways, absolutely awesome as you can see there is work going around the station and brake run they're clearing land digging holes the work on the station for frontier canada is probably going to take place very shortly um so that's super awesome as well um when we curved down there or looked down there earlier as you can tell the little machine that was on behemoth's track is no longer there um so whatever that was doing i have no idea i guess everyone was right it's just inspecting track that's been removed um so not much to report on behemoth uh now what's interesting is the mind buster area so a lot of people are probably really curious what's going on with mind buster are they uh converting it into some sort of steel looping like no they're not um <laughs> so not much can be seen in that area uh they definitely cleared land so there was definitely land clearing going on in that area you can see the mud that's all around i have no idea what it's for it could be electrical for mind buster maybe they just need to upgrade it. it could be electrical for Yukon Striker. Who knows? It's just weird. I don't see it connecting over towards Yukon Striker or it could be waterworks. So we are hearing that there could be a grand waterfall or river in that area. And maybe they're just going to like extend it all the way down into this area. And maybe that's why they installed a water main over by Splashworks. Um, so not much else going on. Again, the MCBR, the second drop is done. The zero G roll is done. Station work is going on. Mine Buster is not torn down yet. Um, but yeah, everything looks amazing. A uh, huge thank you to Craig. So Craig is now flying the drone all by himself. I am no longer doing it. I don't have to drive 25 minutes there, 25 minutes home, um, three to four times a week to do construction updates. So that's awesome. Huge thank you to him. Give the video a like and support of Craig. Um, the footage is a little grainy. We figured out we just have to, um, hit HD mode. So Christian just forgot to hit HD mode, which is totally fine. Um, so our next footage will be a little less grainy. Nonetheless, you can still see a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.